are moving forward with the fall launches and today I am pretty damn excited because one of my favorite brands look since the minute that I've bought my first Westman Atelier product I have been a fan and I have not stopped getting their stuff like I may not show it to you guys but I have amassed quite a bit of product from um, uh, Westman Atelier so they just debuted a new foundation called the Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. This, like the other foundation, is 68 bucks. It comes in 20 flexible shades, and I got the same shade that I have in the um, other foundation, which is 10.5 Soft Caramel, described as a, I think it's a deep 10 or a medium deep with a warm undertone, and um, this came in the mail. And when it came in the mail and I put it on my arm, I was very not, what's the word I'm looking for? I was a little bit scared because it looked quite neutral. But then about, I wanna say about 30 seconds after I put it on my arm, I looked back at it again and it had started to warm up. So hopefully it does the same thing on my damn face, otherwise, I'm out 68 bucks because, yeah, can't return things to Westman Atelier's website and that's where I got it because it hasn't launched anywhere else yet but the website. So let me go ahead and read you some deets about what Westman Atelier says about their new foundation makeup skincare hybrid. Um, it says, makeup that works with your skin, not over it. Complexion boosting drops give breathable coverage and radiance while improving bare skin quality. Bare skin, I'm combination oily. It is extremely dewy um, on the at the outset. Anyway, it seems to be extremely dewy. I'm combination oily. I also have acne marks, so I have on a primer. I'm using the Shiseido primer today. It's just like an everyday primer, so you know. Um, loaded with skincare actives at efficacy levels, this deeply nourishing formula intensely hydrates evens tone and soothes drop by drop our skin vitality complex improves texture firmness and radiance with sabuki oil ginseng and pomegranate extract skin is smoother feels healthier and acts younger <sighs> all right so so it is dermatologically tested non-comedogenic best for dry normal and combination skin types so that's basically everybody um now it is supposed to be the strength of a serum the beauty of a skin tint with light to medium coverage and a radiant finish so let me give you a swatch Um, this is what 10.5 caramel looks like. Now, I did say that that's the same shade that I have it in in the foundation. So I have the foundation in two shades. When I had first bought the foundation, I had got 11.5 because I had got it from Sephora. And Sephora described 10.5 as a neutral undertone, which it is not. So I wound up getting a shade that was too dark for me with 11.5, but then I went back and I got 10.5 from Westman Atelier, and that is um, the perfect shade. So when I saw these and I saw the 10.5, it was, a, was an option. I just went ahead and got it. Now, I don't know if the color is going to be the same or not, but we shall see. So I'm not going to do this the way I would normally do my... Um, foundation reviews simply because number one it's only supposed to be like a skin tint I don't know if I can actually achieve medium coverage because of the um, the finish I don't know if I want to try to achieve medium medium coverage because I did sort of try it the other day a little bit on my face and it was super dewy um, the way that I plan to wear this if it is too dewy is I will wear it with the foundation over it because foundation is pretty full coverage it is full coverage um and this is so far from what i've seen is quite sheer um so that's how i would combine the two of them because the foundation can be a little bit too full coverage for me um now the way that i'm going to do this rather than the way that i would normally do my foundation reviews is i'm not going to do an actual wear test wear test with it so i'm going to do like a one day wear test i'm just going to wear it for the rest of the day today it is I don't know what time it is. What time is it? 
It's 1041 right now, so I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna pile products on top of it just to see how it performs with product. Um, because if I'm gonna be wearing this, I'm gonna be wearing a pro product on top of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So if you wanna see me experiment wildly, stick around. All right, so I pulled you guys in a little bit closer. This is kind of thick. It sounds like, it sounds pretty thick. I thought it was gonna be quite runny, but it sounds pretty thick. I'm gonna do one, two, three drops on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go in with this brush because this brush looked, did really well for the other foundation. So I'm gonna go in with this brush again. Apparently I'm supposed to use my hands, but y'all know how I feel about that. So far, I am getting super dewy. Oh my god. All right, friends, we are definitely into some unintentional glass skin territory here. So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and I'm also gonna apply a little bit of under eye concealer because like I said, when I had tried it on my hand the other day, the dewiness went away a little bit and then the color also warmed up somewhat. So I wanna see if that happens if I give it some time. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time and then I'll come right back. All right, so I am back and um, the color seems to have settled or warmed up a little bit more i'm gonna finish the other side of my face but i'm also going to um whoa i'm also going to uh put a little bit more to see if i can build it up build up the coverage a little bit so i'll be right back and my face will be done but something so i was thinking as i was putting on my foundation of putting on the foundation that it makes sense that they debuted those powders a few months ago um it really does make sense because this product is super dewy and i'm sure that westman atelier has as has some idea that they have a lot of fans and not everybody is down for the dewy look and i'm sure they are aware because gucci is an older woman that a lot of their fans are also older um and may not be down for looking shiny all day so i'm gonna finish the rest of my face and i'll be right back so I've been in here for a few minutes and it's not really, so the color has changed. It's, you know, it's warmed up somewhat. I mean, it wasn't really neutral to begin with, but it was warmed up somewhat. And, <laughs> but it hasn't really toned down the dewy, okay? This is a lot of dew. This is a lot of dew. And now it's gonna be really interesting because this, this, is, this is good, this is good because it's this dewy the coverage is less medium, more light, maybe sort of edging, creeping, creeping slightly towards a medium, but it's not quite there yet. And I'm not willing to build it up anymore because it's already shiny enough. Um, but this is good because this way I can see how well it plays with other products on top of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go in with one of the Baby Cheeks blushes. I got the one, what the hell did I do with my blush brush? Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna go in one with one of the Baby Cheeks blushes. I got the shade Mimi a few weeks ago. This was a limited edition one that everybody had been begging to have come back. Um, and so they brought it back. So I'm gonna try to go in with it. Oh, wait a second. It's toning down on my cheeks just a little bit, but not on my forehead. Um, one thing I will say, okay, wait a second. All right, so one thing that I'm gonna say about, even though it's dewy as hell, it's not emphasizing texture. All right, so product 
seems to go on well over it. So Mimi is just like a very neutral, dusty move for me, um, which is why I got it. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay. And so with this, you don't really need a highlighter, clearly. So I was not prepared to hate this product. And I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. That's not what I'm saying. I was not prepared to hate this product. Um, but at the start of this, it kind of sort of looked like I wasn't going to like it very much just because of how damn dewy it is. And like I said, I can, I get it. I understand where somebody may want to be this damn dewy, but it's not me. Oh my God, I cannot open this bronzer. So now I'm going to try to go in with the Soleil Riche um, br bronzer. gotta go carefully because it's such a light tint that other things could theoretically overpower it but that looks really good holy crap wow okay <laughs> all right so finally i'm gonna go in with the vital pressed skincare powder in the shade dune which looks like this I don't want to get rid of the dewiness completely because I find that it adds like a really nice, healthy glow to the skin. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But like I said, I understand why they actually came out with it a few months ago because along with this, um, the Vital Skincare Drops, it really is like a one-two makeup system. And there we have my face. And I like it. I actually really, really like it. It just looks, it looks natural. It looks very, very natural. And I'm digging this. Yeah. All right. What's I'm going to tell you? You done did it again. All right. So I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. See how it performs and then I will be back here later on with the results of my wear test but first let's talk about it she only okay so not over the moon about the extreme dew of this product not over the moon about it but because I can tone it down significantly sig significantly with the vital the vital skincare powder I am actually okay with it um, it does give a nice, healthy glow to the skin, um, so uh, I'm digging that. It also doesn't emphasize texture, so that is a plus because for something so dewy, you would truly expect that your like all your acne marks and everything, you know, like lumpy, bumpy texture if you got it, to be on full display, and it doesn't. It really, really doesn't. So that's like kudos. I don't know how y'all did that, but y'all did that, and I appreciate. Um, it's comfortable on the skin. It's the foundation itself is like a tiny bit sticky, but it's like it's a serum foundation, so that makes sense. Like usually with serum foundations, I find them usually to be a little bit sticky, um, and this one is no different. So, so far so good. I actually do like what's happening here. I do. All right, guys. It is now ten fifty-eight a.m. in the morning. This is what my face looks like. And I will be back here later on with the results of my wear test. Bye. All right, friends, I am back. And it is now, what time is it? It is 20 minutes past five in the evening. And this is what my face looks like. And I have to say, I am super surprised that something that is so glowy and, well, relatively sheer held up this well for six hours. Mind you, even though I didn't take a nap, I did lay down for a little while, so this side looks better than this side because I was laying down on this side. But it looks remarkably good. And I believe if I were to take the powder um, 
and just powder my face again because I didn't do that before. If I was to take my powder and do this, it would go back to looking stellar. Look at that. So, um, yeah, so Westman Atelier did not let me down again. I do like this. Uh, it's a foundation. It's not a skin tint. It's a serum foundation, um, and I felt it when I first put it on. So, um, it was a little bit uncomfortable at first. However, it, the feeling went away. I also took pictures outside in natural light so you can see what it looks like. I'll throw them up up here or up here, whichever place I have more space and I'm editing. But this is what my face looks like, guys, and I actually really like this. I don't know if I mentioned the price. It is $68, just like the other foundation. You do get a full ounce of product, regardless of how small the bottle looks. You still get a full ounce of product. Um, and this is weighty. It's very weighty. It is it is plastic, but it's uh, some kind of weighted plastic. Um, and it's the typical Westman Atelier colors with a white cap. So, you know, everything is keeping in line with the brand. It's very chic looking while being quite simple. So I'm digging it. But yeah, this held up really well. It gives decent coverage. It actually gives pretty decent coverage, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be something like super sheer. But like I said, when I had put it on my face the other day, um, it kind of blossoms after a while. It goes on very sheer, but within, within about 30 to 60 seconds, you start to see the color coming in to um, the color coming more to the fore and it just becomes uh, more of a foundation foundation than like a skin tint. So it does take a little bit of time to activate for lack of a better term. Um, and then it becomes a foundation on your skin. I am super happy with the color that I chose. The color that I chose was a really good match for me, just like the, the 10.5. And they are they are one-to-one -one correlation. So the 10.5 in the stick foundation is the same color as the 10.5 in this. So if that's the color you wear, then you would go ahead and get that too. No. So really quickly, let's talk about all the things that I was testing for. I was testing for longevity, which it really held up. Like I only gave it six hours to do its thing, which I felt like a product like that, which is super dewy, only needed about six hours to, to, to let me know whether or not. Matter of fact, four hours would have been good, but six, I gave it six hours so I could really, really see how well it would hold up. And I think it held up pretty damn good considering I was outside and it's hot and humid um, and I have combination oily skin. So I was expecting it to kind of slip and slide and it did it. So thumbs up for that. Um, it goes right back to being stellar with the application of the powder over it. So you can always repowder. So that's a good thing. And what else? And it covers really well. There's also no scent to it either. Absolutely no scent whatsoever. And it covers really well. It does give you a medium coverage. Like I was skeptical of that at first this morning, but it really does give medium coverage. Um, and it's that's a that's about the level of coverage I prefer. You guys know that. Um, anything more than that, I feel like it's a little much, even though the foundation is full coverage. The other foundation is full coverage and I do like it, but I prefer medium coverage. What else? Oh, it stayed in place really well. It didn't do any slip and slide or anything like that. And like I said, I did take, I didn't take a nap, but I lay down for a little while. Um, and I was reading and I was only laying on one side, this side. So this side kind of faded away a little bit faster than this side did. Um, this side still looked pretty decent for most of the day. Uh, but yeah, I was laying down and it really, it held up. It held up really, really well. So I really like this uh, new foundation from Westman Atelier. I was also looking to see how well it takes other products on top of it. And it did take the bronzer very well on top of it, even though I did have to kind of chill for a minute with the bronzer because um, the foundation at the time, it hadn't really like blossomed into its full co color yet. So it, it's really easy. It was really easy to kind of overwhelm the color. But as we got going, it just, you know, and you can still, it's still there. So, and I also used the Baby Cheeks blush and it took that really well. Like I know you didn't see it very well on camera, it didn't show up 
too much on camera but in real life it took it very well like the color was there you could see it and the foundation didn't get removed or anything as I was putting it on so it takes other products on top of it really really well which once again because of the consistency of the product that sticky serum like serum like um, consistency as well as the super do <laughs> the super do of it made me believe that it wouldn't take other products very well or it would be other products would get sticky and clumpy on it or start to pill or something and as you can see from my face early or in the video I said early or oh my god earlier in the video and now nothing has pilled nothing has rolled up nothing and also coming back to the texture on the skin as well as the pores and stuff like that like it didn't emphasize it or even overemphasize the texture on my skin and it still looks good even though my oils have by this point broken through so I can't remember what else I was gonna say but I'm sure I'm forgetting something I'm like super tired so I kind of just want to chill for a minute um, before I take a shower and end my day but if I'm sure I forgot something so if there's a question that you need answered in the comment section go ahead and ask me um, in the comment section and uh, yeah, I believe that's it. I really like this product. It's a West Montelier has given me yet another hit, so I, I'm not mad at it. Um, I will probably most likely use it in conjunction with the foundation because I feel like using it with the foundation would just like, it's, it'll tone the foundation, the other foundation, I meant the stick foundation. It'll tone the stick foundation down because the stick foundation is very full coverage. Like it is full on full coverage. And this one is more my speed. It's like medium coverage. The only thing that this one is a little bit too damn shiny. So I do have to use the power to tone powder to tone it down. So I feel like if I combined both of them, I might get the best of both worlds. You don't know until you try. So I might actually go ahead and do that. But anyway, guys, let me stop rambling. I do like this product. Um, the price point is on par with just about everything else for the brand. And I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and also my little rant. My little rant. Rant. I said rant. I'm tired, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as usual, it's been real. It's been fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.